Viewing will be held at the Whitlaw Funeral Home tonight between 6 and 8 p.m. Kendall doesn't know yet. No, she doesn't. Not unless someone called after that the lodge. I gotta go tell her. That's not no. Not yet. Well, Kendall has a right to know about her own grandmother. Erica has a right to mourn in peace. What are you saying? I'm saying don't tell her. Kendall's changed, Edmund. I can't believe you yeah, think she... Yeah, I know. She... Just wait till after the funeral. That's all I'm saying, okay? No, I have to tell Kendall before somebody else does. Tell me what? My Children, brought to you by Pantene Pro-V Shampoo and Pro-V Treatment Conditioner for hair so healthy it shines. What's wrong? Okay, what did I do now? Absolutely nothing. Then why do you two look as if you're about to lower the boom? Did Dimitri fire me or something? There's no general way of saying this. Your grandmother died. My, my gra... Which one? Mrs. Tyler. Mona. No. I'm sorry. No, you're wrong. You're wrong, it's a mistake. She's not sick. Nobody, nobody said that she was sick. She's not... Are you sure? Yeah. When? For last, in her sleep, apparently. She didn't suffer. You know, it's the sort of death people pray for. It's, uh, it's the kindest way to die. It's okay, Kim. It's okay. I'm here. It's all right. love in her eyes. But when I looked at Erica, all I saw was a stranger staring back at me. Same with Bianca. Nothing, no feeling, no connection, nothing. But it was different with Mona. When she looked at me, I could feel this... Even after everything hit the fan? <laughs> no. She backed away from me after that, but Erica didn't give her any choice. Erica poisoned her mind against me. But it wasn't like that at the beginning. I know she she looked at me with that look. It was there for me. I saw it. You know, sometimes people connect in a very special way. There's just no explaining it. But I know why. <laughs> Mona told me why. It happened the night that I was born. Erica never even looked at me. But Mona held me. And she kissed me. And she told me that she loved me. <laughs> she did. I know that she loved me. And she never forgot me either. And I don't think I did either. But somehow, when we saw each other, we recognized each other. <laughs> it's my no, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> it's just like somehow we connected. We belong to each other. Sorry. Only now it <clears throat> never happened. Kendall, I'm sorry it had to end this way. <laughs> Erica actually call here? No. Then how? Uh, it was in the paper. Edmund found it.
Mona Kane Tyler survived by her daughter, Erica Kane, and her granddaughter, Bianca Montgomery. A granddaughter? What about me? I'm gonna call the paper, I'm gonna demand a return. Pamela's not a good idea. Why not? Wait, why not? They'd have to run it by Erica. So what? So the woman is grieving. And I'm not. Look, I didn't say that. Oh, I get it. Kendall doesn't exist, right? That's not what I... She doesn't care. What's the difference? She's not human. She's not even real. Calm down, Kendall. Erica only has one daughter, Bianca, so Kendall's not alive. Kendall, Kendall listen. Well, believe it or not, Edmund, I do have feelings. And right now, I am feeling a lot of grief. I understand that. I do, Kendall, okay? I know you want to make some sort of gesture, so why don't you and Anton go down to the chapel and light a candle for Mona? Let's do it. Get to the dress shop before it closes. I don't have to wait. There's no dress code at the chapel. I'm not going to the chapel. I'm going to the funeral home just like the rest of the family. No, Kendall, you are not going anywhere. Mona raised Erica alone. They were as close as two people could possibly get. Now, her wishes take precedence now, and that is for you to stay away. Well, that's just too damn bad. Because I'm gone, and there's nothing that you can do to stop me. Well, maybe not, but Demetra can. You still want to work here? Are you threatening her? I'm reminding her of the terms of her job. One of them was to stay away from Erica. I won't even say anything to her, okay? No, not okay. She looks up and she sees your face. Erica doesn't own Mona's memory. Edmund, come on, I have every right to be there. You want to go there? You walk in there tonight, Erica will spit in your face. Is that what you want? Is that going to make you feel good? Give you comfort in your grief? Is that going to make you feel part of this family, Kendall? Not for me. Don't go. Take my advice. You go there tonight, you're going to be sorry. He may be right. You're already hurting about Mona. Why open yourself up for more pain? Why is it that no one understands me the way you do? They will. Just give them some time, okay? <laughs> I gotta make one quick stop at the hospital. Why don't you go get some rest? I'll be right back. And then we'll go to the chapel and light a candle for Mona, okay? Thank you for caring. Back at the lodge, okay? 